Hey everybody, this is Benzino of the Wild Report, and this is the Speckled Racer. Texas is one of the largest states in the U.S., encompassing a huge variety of habitats which each harbor a diverse array of wildlife. Wherever you look, there seems to be an animal of some kind going about its daily business. However, some species are much harder to spot than others. After days of exploring the Lone Star State on the search for its most elusive reptile inhabitant, we were finally rewarded when we encountered what is considered by many to be the rarest snake in all of North America, the speckled racer. Now, speckled racers are arguably one of the rarest snakes we have in North America. These are traditionally found throughout Central America and even the upper parts of South America, and only in Southern Texas are they found in the wild in North America. Now, speckled racers are very closely related to other snakes you see on my channel, such as black racers, of which we do have in North Carolina, and they have a very similar ecological niche. Now you see that their body is very long, very slender. These are extraordinarily fast snakes, and they have very large eyes, so these are diurnal hunters, and what they do is they live in, the, in a very uh, specific habitat out here, a palm, I guess it's a palmetto forest habitat. Um, and so, in these habitats, they come out during the day, they use the excellent vision and their great, great sense of smell to find their prey. Uh, now these are different than black racers and their prey usually is frogs and toads, which is pretty interesting. Um, although I'm sure they will also take lizards and, and anything else that they can grab. Now they're not constrictors, they do just kind of grab and swallow their prey, um, but they are very, very fast. Now this coloration, I'll show you uh, some close-ups of those scales, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's no there's no other snake I've ever seen that looks like this. And you know, it's not the, you would not think it's the best camouflage uh, because it is, it is bright blue. But when you think that lots of the prey items that this thing will be hunting down can't even see color, basically all those spots just break up the outline so they'll never see it coming. Now this is a pretty mature individual. I would say this is uh, about average size for a speckled racer. Now in the southern parts of their range, when you get closer to the equator, they can get much bigger than this though. Uh, in fact, speckled racers can grow up to around four feet long. Now, uh, this is already beautiful. I can't imagine a four-foot speckled racer and what that would look like. As far as lifespan goes, it's about average for most snakes. Now, there's not very much data about speckled racers in the wild, but in captivity, they are known to live up to 15 years. So these do have a very, very similar ecological niche to the black racers that we have back at home. Uh, but they are obviously very... <laughs> much more brilliantly colored. Very little is known about the lives of speckled racers in southern Texas beyond what is known about their Central and South American counterparts, as their cryptic lives and limited range make them an extraordinarily difficult species to study in the wild. The one thing we do know for sure is that while they are indeed very beautiful snakes, this has not saved them from anthropogenic impacts such as habitat destruction that are having a negative impact on so many other reptile species. Encountering this animal in the wild was an extraordinarily rare experience, and one that may not be possible in just a few decades. Well everyone, that's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed, and learned something new about the speckled racer. If you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video, and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content coming every other Saturday morning. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Benzino of The Wild Report, signing out.